Hey, welcome back to Cheating Wife, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to the channel for cheating stories like this. My wife had an affair with a colleague from work for over a year, and we have a three year old. So I learned that my wife had been having an affair with a co worker for, she says, a year and a half. She had left her spiral notebook planner for work on our desk by mistake, and within it at the very front were printouts of email conversations with profound and strong declarations of love for each other, along with a handwritten message from her expressing as much, you remember these, I'm still feeling the same way. She even said that she wished they were married. The transactions were made six months ago, on New Year's Eve, and the printing date was set two months ago. She'd known the man for five years while working in law enforcement, he's a police, and they'd been discussing their marital problems, which she says she did to try to help U.S. When I questioned her about it, she was stunned, incredibly remorseful, and pleading with me that she had terminated it two months ago, that she had changed her mind about sending in the emails with the personal message because she wanted to work on us. When I pushed her for specifics, how long, how often did they have, etc., she became quite evasive. She maintains it was simply a foolish emotional thing via emails, messages, and phone calls, and that they had only kissed once in a parking lot, a kiss known as our first kiss. I called BS on everything, but she would not budge, and her explanation hits even more hazy, claiming that she was simply being foolish. How can you tell someone that you've never loved someone as much as you do them with just one occasion of physical touch in a year? She apologizes again and expresses regret that she has harmed our family. We have a three-year-old. A week has gone by, my boss insisted I take the week off. Friends have brought me out for fun things to cheer me up, such as restaurants, a walk, and even a strip club. I tried to do a lot of self-care throughout, including working out, going, shopping for cute outfits, and eating healthier. It has helped a little, and I've progressed from uncontrolled tears to rallying with harsh aggressive music, to now experiencing overall despair and feeling physically ill. What's truly difficult is that we're still living here in the home for the sake of our kid. Logistically, it wouldn't make sense for me to go straight immediately since I take our child to the daycare center where I work and she departs for her job two hours before mine at 5 a.m. He's our first priority, but I'm placing myself directly behind him. My wife has gone from sobbing uncontrollably in front of him to now being normal and excessively affectionate with me to the point that I don't have a chance to truly pull back so I simply stand there unmoving as she clings to me in a hug and kisses me. Tonight, when she did this, she informed me that we still needed to do it, even if it was only pretending, so that we might become better. She asks me many times a day if I'm okay, and she says she believes in us, that we can get through this. She's even attempted to put a positive gloss on things by claiming that this is the first time in a long time that we've been able to have a true chat without it devolving into yelling. Perhaps this is what we needed, she muses. I tell her that I'm trying not to show my anger, but it's actually simply because I'm so depressed. To be sure, we've had issues that I'm sure I contributed to. She's a strong-willed lady who never apologizes for anything. Whenever I expressed worry about how she'd treat me in a certain situation, since she can be a feisty lady, she flicked it back on me saying she's so bad all the time. I'd attempt to reassure her that I'm just talking about this one problem and urge her to please work on it, but she wasn't paying attention to what I was saying. I'm certainly not trying to ship responsibility or justify anything away, but it was simply great to speak to people who didn't think I was this dreadful person, she said of the affair. My escalation was my problem with us. During fights, my irritation would cause me to get enraged, and I would become emotionally overwhelmed. There were occasions when I spoke harsh things to her, such as informing her that several of our acquaintances had told me that she was often berating. When we fought, I would always try to bring it back around and apologize for my part, and that I realize circumstances are rough, but I think we can work things out if we got some assistance. This was often greeted with her silent stonewalling. Right now, I get the impression that she is pressuring me to forgive her and begin working on U.S. I told her we needed to split for the time being because I needed time and space. The most difficult aspect of this is our kid, and the toll I know it will have on him when I go and we divide our time with him. The deal I made for his sake is that I'll always be here every night to nip him in the bud, but that's becoming tough with her strong attachment and insistence on embracing, holding my hand, and kissing me. It's really aggressive. What disturbs me the most about this is that we haven't had much in over a year. I was the only one who started things, and she would constantly avoid me, create excuses, 
and even humiliate me for gaining weight and looking terrible. I used craft beers as a crutch because I need some pleasure out of life. She would keep my kisses and embraces brief, telling me that I was being weird by kissing her so much. Almost all of the love came from me. She turned 40 just a few months ago, and my big surprise for her was taking her on a weekend romantic trip, just the two of us, where we went wine tasting, had lovely meals, and finally had passionate love for the second or third time in a year. That's why everything feels like a hit to the stomach. Part of me wants to simply end it, but I feel melancholy thinking about our son, the 19 years we've spent together, having to start over at 41 years old, selling our home, the highly expensive housing market here in Southern California. And yet I'm not furious at her, just crushed and really sad. I'm completely broken. I'm getting closer to calling the quits, but we'll need a lengthy separation, which will be pricey since I'll have to rent a home. And I'm even feeling bad about what I'm doing to her. I'm at a loss on what to do. I'm at a complete loss. I went to visit an amazing therapist right away. I despise her for forcing me to choose between myself and our family. Help. Please. Any help would be highly appreciated. Update. Not posted yet. Story 2. My 29 male, wife, 28 female of nearly two years, nine is together, cheated on me and is leaving me. We've been going through a hard patch for a while now, mostly due to my wife's revelation that she wasn't the person she had planned to be. She realized she had tried very hard to suit me, to fit her life into mine, to develop into the ideal of what I thought a spouse should be. This realization made her understand she needed more from me, more respect, autonomy, partnership, and less criticism. Unfortunately, even after seven years together, our communication skills were inadequate and my defensiveness resulted in my feeling attacked and reacting in kind for the majority of talks. Her new sentiments began to emerge while we were arranging our wedding. Unlike my wife, I'm a chronic procrastinator, and she was obliged to hound me to complete wedding tasks such as creating the Save the Date, website, invitations, assembling the band, and so on. Although I came through and got everything done, it caused her a lot of sorrow since she had to bother me so much. Unfortunately, two months before our wedding, my father was diagnosed with cancer. He was able to attend the wedding but died two months later. Our marriage deteriorated during the following year and a half. Despite therapy and much effort and development on my side, my wife continued to check out and withdraw emotionally and physically. She thought she needed to move out for a couple of months in order to build our relationship by living as independent persons for a short period of time. This was also regarded to be an excellent suggestion by our counselor. The week immediately up to her departure was the most hopeful in months. She warmed up to me, embraced me, and assured me that everything would be okay. After the most dry stretch in our relationship, we were finally intimate. Things continued to improve when she moved out. She asked me to a night out with her buddies. We attended events, concerts, and visits to our parents. I was aware of her forthcoming travel to a conference with a few of friends slash classmates. One lady, one man. I knew the man had emotions for her in the past, a year and a half ago, and I knew she had affections for him as well, despite her assurances that nothing was going on. Needless to say, she cheated on me while on her vacation with him. It was only revealed when a buddy observed them holding hands the day they returned from their vacation, Monday last week. After a string of falsehoods, she eventually admitted that they had, and I freaked out. She rededicated herself to me after the outburst, stating she needs me and wants to move back in. I took her back because I love her so much and miss her attention and affection after being alone for the previous six months. We had to travel a few hours for a wedding this weekend, and while she was gone, I saw several texts from this man on her iPad. It crushed my heart, and I want to speak with her when she returned. We spoke but she immediately shifted the topic, informing me that this isn't working and that she's leaving me. I'm feeling ill. I'm going to miss my best pal. Things haven't been going well for a long, but I've tried very hard. I really don't know what to do or how to begin my life at the age of almost 30.